Welcome back to the Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh and today we're here to talk about whether or not I think that the brand new FX Panthera has killed old trusty the FX Impact M3. Now the new Panthera is pretty freaking impressive. The valve system, everything about it, the accuracy out of the box has really been making a lot of waves in the air gun world and it's the new thing, right? So here we have the Impact M3 and this has been out for quite a while and I get a lot of questions and a lot of people are asking, you know, does the Panthera negate the fact of even owning an M3? Did it kill the M3? Is the M3 gone after this? And really the short answer is no, absolutely not. So the M3 is kind of its very own thing. It is not going anywhere and we're going to talk about where I think this excels over the Panthera, where the Panthera excels. Uh, we got the scope cam on here. I'm not going to lie to you, this was in 35 cal about 30 minutes ago for my night hunting stuff. I threw the Element Nexus on here. I put the 22 barrel tension system in here with a barrel kit and probe. Uh, threw some settings around and here we are. So, which is also kind of a point to the impact. It is the most versatile air gun probably in the world. I mean, you can shoot 30 pellets with us, 30 minutes later be shooting 22 slugs and you know while they do take time to tune you don't have to spend an enormous amount of time tuning so today you don't have to spend an enormous amount of time tuning you know if you're looking for that pinpoint accuracy then yeah you need to tune it you need to know what slugs you know it's going to like and i'm not going to lie this liner i don't even know which liner it was i threw a liner in it um it's kind of the point of this video we threw a 22 together from what was a 35 and we're in the wind, quite obviously. We're gonna shoot at some steel at 1,900 yards and uh, we're just gonna hope we're good. I shot about five slugs through this at 50 yards to make sure we had a rough zero. And uh, this is gonna be first shots downrange, and we'll talk about the rest of this. So uh, what we're gonna be using is, look at this new gem. This is the Bullet Central. This is an all metal magazine. This one's in 22 cal, it's all they have right now. Um, all metal. It's got a ball bearing assembly in here. It is super slick. I actually got two of them because you know, that's how I roll. One is none and two is one. So look at this packaging though. This thing comes in this freaking like nice foam case package. Got all the bolt central stuff on there. Pretty neat uh, magnetic lid. So really easy there. Again, all metal. You ain't gonna have no problems with this guy. One big benefit to the impact of the Panthera is just overall capacity. Not only air capacity, because we got this giant bottle up here, but magazine capacity. I mean, look at this thing. This is crazy. Um, so you don't need to carry a bunch of stuff with you. You honestly, if I was going hunting, if I can't do it in this and that much air, then I probably need to figure out something different. So let's see if we can get this guy in here. All right. Uh, general settings. I know everybody's curious. Let's see. What are we at? I'm not even sure. We're at 170 bar. We're four lines out on the valve adjuster. We're at four on the hammer. So kind of a generic uh, shoot 22 is pretty fast kind of deal. Uh, we zeroed at 50 and I put in two mils. I, I don't know if that's going to be right or not. We're going to figure that out together. All right, 100 yards, we got what would be like a groundhog size head target. I did dial a bunch of uh, windage in for the wind, so we're going to hold right. And we went right. That was dumb. Okay. Let's hold them straight up. There it is. All right, now what if the groundhog was carrying a grenade? No problem. We disarmed the groundhog. Let's see. We got 90 yards. We got a little squirrel here. We're going to hold him under. No problem at all. So, obviously, we can make hits. We've got a lot more capacity, but there's just also a lot more accessories right now. Now, the accessories will pick back up, but for right now, if you're looking at this rifle, 
We have the carbon fiber bolt handle shroud here. Now this is an Ernest Rowe design. I think Bullet Central carries these. You know, you've got the fancy Bullet Central mags. I have the Sabre tactical top rail and bottom rail. Um, absolutely love this for PRS style shooting. Putting this on a bag, I mean, it is nice and flat. We've got the Bullet Central barrel tension system. I mean, we've got all the accessories, I mean, butt stocks, bag riders, rails, anything you want to do with an impact you can do right now. And that's from shooting pellets all the way up to slugs and you're not really going to have to worry about it. Um, I'm feeling kind of froggy. I have no clue what this dope is going to be. Uh, let's take a guess. We're going out to 150. Um, and I'll check my parallax to make sure we're good. Sometimes you got to call it close enough. I dialed five mils. I don't know. We're going to have to look and rely on the Nexus glass being good enough at low magnification for us to actually see this. All right, let's see what we can see. Let's get level. Oh, 150 yards on some gas dope with a 22 impact M3. I like it. Oh, there we go. It's still straight up in this wind, which is kind of surprising. Let's try one more. <laughs> oh, there's just something fun about shooting air guns at steel at distance, but well, we got her off the tether and safed up, but because of the form factor size, this is an 800 millimeter barrel with a Donny FL Sumo. This, this can is not exactly a small can. And here, the overall size of this is very packable still. I mean, this is 800 mil with a long moderator. And I mean, suck this guy up. This is very much normal rifle length. I can hold this here, no problem. The Panthera, because it is how it is, is just gonna be longer. So if you're going out into the field, you're going hunting, you wanna throw this in a truck, you wanna be able to do something with this. Um, and of course you could be shorter than this. This is the longest length kind of available. This is 800 millimeter with a super long can on here. Actually, we'll take this off. Take the Donny FL off real quick. Um, if you really didn't care, or you could run one of the smaller options now we're definitely talking something really compact i mean easily still a truck gun panthera 100 percent a good gun but a purpose-built competition gun the panthera is designed to compete in like nrl 22 places where it's not really going to be super friendly to the form factor of the impact because on the impact you still have this height right so it is still very tall compared to a traditional rifle whereas you know this is not going to fit in all the ports and prs or nrl 22 because they're designed for standard rifles you could shoot the panthera and probably have a lot more success in that kind of competition now if you're just going to shoot air gun competitions like just air gun like you just shoot armac once a year i very seriously doubt armac being an air gun event is going to create ports that are too small for an impact M3 where you would need the Panthera. But now if you're going to your local NRL 22 shoot with this guy, you know, I've done that, been there. I uh, didn't get the t-shirt, you know, because uh, I couldn't fit this gun into a lot of ports. And that's kind of what went into the thought consideration of the Panthera. Just for the heck of it, we're gonna put this back on. We're gonna go back to hundred yards. We're gonna do it off the tank trap here. We're gonna see if messing with that has changed our point of impact at all. Going back to 100 yards. Wind is picking back up, of course. Uh, I think you guys could have probably heard that. The wind is uh, whipping. But yes, we are still hitting targets back at 100 yards with the Impact M3. So hopefully, you know, if you're looking at this and maybe you're undecided, you're like, man, I don't know, uh, should I get the M3? You know, is the M3 even gonna exist for much longer? Do I need to get the Panthera? Um, 
If you have absolutely no idea, hopefully this helps you out a little bit. Maybe in the future, if you guys want it, uh, leave a comment down there. We'll do like a head-to-head -head comparison. Um, and it won't really be an accuracy comparison because you know we've seen plenty of videos. We know how both of these guns can we know how both of these guns can shoot, but maybe a head-to-head -head on certain props, packability, real-world stuff. You know, if you're going out shooting with your buddies, the occasional match, uh, you know, whacking critters with this thing, then you know we'll do kind of a real-world comparison. If that's something that you guys want to see, but I appreciate you guys watching. This is still super impressive to me, and we'll catch you on the next one.